During the last century, the limits of human strength have been tested and subsequently changed by athletes doing the unthinkable, the unimaginable and the unexpected. In fact, gentlemen, just watching this video is enough to put hair on your chest. In today's episode of Unusual As Usual, we're looking into the legend of the strongest man in history, aka Louis Sear. Cyprien Noy Sear was born in Saint Cyprien de Napierville, Quebec, Canada, on the 10th of October, 1863. He was a large child, weighing close to 18 pounds at birth, and began developing extraordinary strength at an early age. From the age of 12, he worked as a lumberjack during the winters and on the family's farm the rest of the year. Using his exceptional strength at a very young age, he impressed his fellow workers with his feats and stories of his strength became legendary amongst his peers and co-workers. After hearing about the 6th century legend of Milo of Croton, he wanted to mimic the seemingly impossible feat. As the legend goes, Milo of Croton once carried a four-year-old bull on his shoulders before slaughtering, roasting and devouring it in one day. He did this by carrying a newborn calf on his shoulders daily as it grew to maturity. Cyprien Noy started to do this, however, his calf bolted one day, giving him a nasty kick in his back. After this, he instead began carrying a sack of grain, quarter of a mile, 0.4 kilometers, every day, adding two extra pounds of grain each day. In 1878, at the age of 17, he gained some national notoriety after lifting a farmer's heavy laden wagon out of a ditch after it became stuck. He took part in a friendly contest against David Michel, who was recognised as Canada's strongest man at the time. The two competed in tests such as lifting heavy stones and by hoisting a granite boulder weighing 480 pounds, 220 kilograms. Michel was beaten hands down. After his victory, he emigrated to Massachusetts, United States, and changed his name from Cyprien Noy to Louis Sear, as it was easier to pronounce in English. Standing just 5 feet and 10 inches, but weighing in at over 230 pounds, Sear was a powerhouse of strength. He presented his first public display of strength in Boston during a strongman competition at the age of 18. Attempting to capitalise on his stunning performance, Louis returned to Quebec in 1882 and went on a brief tour of Quebec with a wrestler, a boxer and a weightlifter. One day, he apparently voluntarily stepped into a knife fight and using his brute strength broke it up. He made a citizen's arrest and carrying both culprits, one under each arm, escorted them to the local police station. With this superb reference, Sear was hired on the spot as a police officer and served in the force in Montreal from 1883 to 1885. Restless in his new vocation, he entered another strongman competition in March of 1886. His competition, once again, was world's strongest man, David Michel. During the competition, Sear lifted a 218 pound barbell with one hand. The best Michel could manage was 158 pounds. He also amazed his opponent by squatting a platform piled high with cast iron weights. He prepared himself for the grand effort and with his feet planted firmly in the ground, he gripped the oak bench and began to lift. There was a creak and a strain until eventually the bench began to move. Sia lifted 2,371 pounds. 300 pounds more than Michel had ever achieved. And with that, Sear officially won the title of the strongest man in the world. He went on to make a fortune in the strongman world, attracting audiences of thousands who traveled far and wide to see his unbelievable feats of strength with their own eyes. His poster billed him as having the strength of a hundred men and it sold tickets by the fistful. Richard K. Fox, famed athlete promoter, took Sear on tour up to 1891, where he beat, amongst others, Sebastian Miller, 
whose party trick was punching through a block of solid granite, Franz Cyclops Bienkowski, who could bend coins using just his fingers, and Richard Pennell, the first man to break the 200 pound barrier in the one-armed overhead press. But there was one man that Sia never got to challenge, albeit not through lack of trying, and that was Eugene Sandow. Sandow became to be known as the father of modern bodybuilding and in stark contrast to Sia, he had a chiseled physique and developed his muscles in such a way that they matched predetermined dimensions of what he considered the perfect body. He organized what is believed to be the world's first major bodybuilding competition, which he also judged alongside none other than Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Sandow was an astute showman, but no fool, and avoided Sears challenges even when tempted with a diamond studded belt to be awarded to the winner, should such an event ever take place. It never did. It's important to note that physical feats performed by strongmen are often exaggerated and Sear was no exception to the rule. There are stories surrounding him that border on the impossible. However, many of his feats were formally documented by witnesses and officials. While touring the world, Louis once squatted a platform holding 18 men. Won a tug of war against four horses and even pushed a freight car up an incline. Then on the 10th of November, 1912, at the age of 49, the strongest man in history, Louis Sia died of chronic nephritis. The cause of his Herculean strength is still unknown, but during his remarkable lifetime, Louis never backed down from a challenge. For over 20 years, he was undefeated in strongman contests. He challenged all of the world's top strongmen, but many refused to face him. And there we have it, the legend of Louis Sia, the strongest man in history. What did you make of his record breaking feats? Let me know in the comment section below and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all I've got time for today, but I'll see you all next week. And remember, stay unusual as usual. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this one too. If you want to see more peculiar people, you can check out the full playlist by clicking here. Don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video. And if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about, make sure you add it to the comment section below.